Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Slip up your hands and so begin to receive of the Lord. I cancel debt <clears throat> over every tither in this building right now. In Jesus' name, we can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Slip up your hands and so begin to receive of the Lord. I cancel debt <clears throat> over every tither in this building right now. In Jesus' name, we cancel debt over every tither in this building right now. I cancel debt <clears throat> over every tither in this building right now. In Jesus' name, we cancel debt. Unbelievable. The con artistry that this man displays, the absolute talent to prance up and down the stage as though he were some great one and to spew that he is going to cancel all the debts of everybody in that building, but only if you're a tither. So give him your money, and he will make sure that your debts get canceled. This is absurd. It's astonishing that anybody would believe this man. He is a confirmed false prophet with zero credibility. The only thing he's good at is acting and lying. And, and how does that work, by the way? We all accumulate debt. We all make the decision or decisions to run up our credit cards. We have mortgages to pay rent, to pay car payments. Right? We made these decisions. He thinks he can come and absolve you of all your responsibility to pay these debts back because what? Because God says so? So he says God says so. But only if you pay him. Boy, does that work out great for Kent Christmas. It's like Christmas for him. And it will be at this particular service because what happens is many in the audience will do a quick self-reflection. And they'll realize, well, I'm not tithing, and I want my debts canceled. Well, I guess I'm going to make that commitment today to start tithing. So again, at the end of this service, old Kent here is going to get paid. And believe me, this is all by design. Friends, don't send these hucksters your money. Seek Jesus Christ through his written word. And Jesus will tell you what to do with money. If you have debt problems, work it out. Right? You can't just take the fairy tale easy way of going into a church service where you have a charismatic actor making promises he can't keep. But to just make a blanket statement like, oh, everybody here, all your debt is forgiven or it's, it's going to be canceled if you pay me. It's ludicrous. And again, pointing this out, praying that some of you followers will stop following these false prophets. In Jesus' name, these guys are in it for the money. And I pray that you see it today.